sometimes people have what it takes, but they haven't recognized it yet. Just go forward. So what do you need to do? How do you stand out? So what you need to do is be that person that's different and is bigger than you think. Rise from the ashes and fly like the phoenixes that you are. Welcome, welcome, everybody. Hello, hello. This is Andrew David. This is Blake Newbar's partner program. Today, I want to talk to you about um, just kind of, I want to talk to you about epiphanies and insights and looking at yourself and recognition, recognition on the pathway that you're on. There are moments that come about in our life. Um, typically, there are triggers. When I talk with people that are starting new businesses, when I talk with business owners that have been in business forever, that are looking for something new, it typically comes about for one of, of two reasons. It's either something triggers it, something massive happens, something that just forces you to look at life a little bit differently. It changes your perception and it absolutely modifies your perspective. And then other people arrive at that same point as things accumulate, the proverbial straw that broke the camel's back, things just add up and pile up over and over and over again until you're forced to change your paradigm and look at life through a different lens. So for me, Today is my birthday. Today, I've had a number of those moments throughout the years, moments where things went, hey, it's time to shift. Some of them negative, some of them positive. Some of them, it was about two years ago, I was forced into one of these perspective moments. I went and I attended a live event uh, out in San Diego, a four-day intensive mastermind. And during that time, we had been told to prepare, to think about certain things, to look at certain elements and obstacles that had been holding us back. And we were going to go. And during the time that we were there, we ended up sitting down and sharing. And we were to take something that had been symbolic of whatever that obstacle was. And we were going to get rid of it in some way. And so I had taken something with me. I had taken something that, you know, eight years ago, I've mentioned this, but when I woke up in the backseat of that car, I had a, I had a red blanket. And that red blanket had stayed with me for years. And it was one of the only things that I had left from that time. But it it was something that I used all the time when I worked here from home, from my other desk, from this desk, I would always sit and I'd have a, you know, even though I was in shorts, I would have a blanket on my legs. Um, and it, that red blanket was always there. It was this visual reminder of that day. And instead of it being a visual reminder of overcoming that day, typically it was something that would remind me of the pain that accompanied that moment. And I had been telling myself forever, no, 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 it reminds me of what you overcame. It reminds me, it reminds you of, you know, the, the changes that happened that you were willing to put yourself through to do something better. But when it came down to it that day sitting there, you know, I recognized, no, what was, what it was really doing was reminding me of, the pain and I was holding on to that pain. And there was something else in that moment. I also had another epiphany. There was a, a recognition that there was something else that I was holding on to. It was a ring um, that I had. It wasn't, um, it wasn't an old wedding ring or anything, but it was a, a ring from a different time that reminded me of something. And I recognized that what I kept telling myself, the lie that I kept telling myself wasn't the truth, that it was a lie, that it really reminded me of that pain. And for some reason, I was unwilling to let it go. That was two years ago. It was an epiphany that I had, you know, having those moments of clarity, guys, I believe there's different ways to bring them about. Spending time in meditation, spending time journaling, spending time in silence, allowing yourself to think, working through some of the projects that I give you, some of the homework that I give you on occasion. I fully believe that it's a way to push yourself towards those moments of inspiration. I also fully believe that most people don't get there because they're unwilling to force those moments because they often involve a, a set of pain or happiness to the extent that we're unable to allow ourselves to feel it for long. Because some of you guys aren't just dealing with the pain. Some of you guys have dealt with so much pain or so much frustration or so many obstacles in life that when you have those moments of happiness, we immediately try and diminish them. And we don't feel comfortable or worthy of, of feeling them. So 
over the course of the last few days, wrote something out. I want to just read that. And I want you to think about where you're at, what you're doing to push yourself towards your own epiphanies, what you need to do to develop further self-awareness. So here we go. All right. So there are moments in life when everything crystallizes, when a person can look upon all of their past, when they can see every decision they've ever made, can see how their life has taken shape. For some, it comes as a moment of revelation, a moment when they realize that the person standing next to them is the love of their life. A person, when they see that woman walking up for the very first time and they recognize what kind of adventure they are signing up for and what pathway their life might lead. Maybe when they look upon a parent and they realize that the parent had been right when they had tried to shield them from life. Or the first moment you lay your eyes upon a child or a grandchild and you recognize that there are bigger things and that your impact and your legacy should mean more than they do when they realized they had misspent their youth doing things that didn't matter, or perhaps they realized they actually do hate their job. Maybe they're not happy with their life. Maybe even their partner, when they decide that enough is enough and they didn't want to be unhappy any longer, that they finally are ready for a change. No matter its form, it's a moment of true insight when a person can accept who they are and decide on a path to take toward a better future. Some of those who are granted such an insight choose not to accept who they are, clinging instead to the lies that they'd wrap themselves in, because the lives, the lies are often easier to live with. They'd rather believe in the mask they'd stitch together than look upon the truth. The lies are simply easier to handle. You know, I gave it my best shot. I, I didn't have a choice. I love you. I hate you. I know I'm right. I'm happy. This is truly just enough. Lies which let them keep fooling themselves into being something that they are not, that prevent them from ever growing beyond what they had crafted themselves to be at that moment, at that moment of insight. But to look upon oneself and see all the bad alongside the good, to see everything and accept it, to know that's what you were, that's what you are, and that you have the power to change. There is power in knowing who you are in accepting the truth and recognizing the potential that you have to do whatever it is that lies in your future. Guys, insight is available to you if you want it. It's not an easy path. It's not the easiest thing to do. But I can tell you that those moments in my life have given me more power than anything else that I've ever tried. Trials will strengthen you. They will harden you. The pressure is what turns the coal into a diamond. But unless you're willing to look inside that diamond and recognize all of the little faults along with the beautiful facets that are within, you'll never have the strength that you were meant to have. So deal with it. Look at it. Spend some time thinking about it. So what I ask you guys to do today and constantly seek for those moments of clarity in your own life. Seek for that inspiration. Look at yourself and spend time in meditation, spend time journaling, spend time thinking, spend time in silence with your own thoughts and learn to be comfortable with it. Because in becoming comfortable with those things, you can find the power, the potential that you have to be and and achieve the divine that is within each of you. And on those thoughts... With that wrapped up for today, go out, be exceptional, be amazing. I appreciate all of you guys. I love having all of you here. Go out and be awesome. Thank you, guys. Take care, everybody. Sometimes people have what it takes. Thanks, Andrew. Appreciate your birthday. So what do you need to do? How do you stand out? So what you need to do is be that person that's different and is bigger than you think. Rise from the ashes and fly like the phoenixes that you are.